Earth Overshoot Day is central to the science of sustainability. It's when our demand for natural resources exceeds supply. It's calculated by dividing the amount of natural resources that the Earth produces on an annual basis, or biocapacity, by the amount of natural resources that humankind uses, our ecological footprint. All of that times by 365 for the number of days in the year. But what exactly is our ecological footprint? It's all the ecological assets in hectares that a population needs to produce the natural resources it consumes. Forest land for timber and to absorb carbon emissions. Crop and grazing land for rearing animals and growing plants. Built up land for homes. And fishing grounds for seafood. Since Earth Overshoot Day was first calculated more than a decade ago, it started to fall earlier and earlier in the year. It used to be in October, now it's in early August. Some countries are more in the red than others. In the UK, uh, Earth Overshoot Day was months ago, so we already exceeded our fair share back in May. Um, other countries, you know, somewhere like Cuba, not until the end of the year. But it's the same story whenever you look at environmental damage, be it on a personal level or a country level. It's the richest parts of society, the richest countries that cause the most damage. And of course, things like climate change and environmental impact in general, it's the poorest people and the poorest parts of the world that get the damage worst. Today, people use the equivalent of one and a half Earths to provide the resources we all need in a year. And it's taking longer and longer for the planet to replenish what we use. Overfishing, overfarming, and emitting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than the forest can process is altering the natural balance. This study says we're living way beyond our ecological means. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.